Hello denizens of the internet and welcome to take six of my video for the end of week one. It's the first week of the year so this is still a bit experimental. Basically the idea was that I'm going to make a video every week so that I've got an excuse to learn the basics of video editing and I'm going to do a little bit of talking about all my different goals for the year and how I've done so far so that I feel like somebody's watching and that will hopefully help to motivate me. Now the first um, goal I set myself was to work 30 hours every week and at the end of every day this week my progress for the last um, seven days has been 30 hours so I've kept up with that one I've got to do a couple more today but I can do that it does seem that um, in the evening after dinner is a good time for me to do work type stuff because I actually get something done um, I will try and get more done earlier in the day but my timesheet doesn't look too bad um, and depending how I do on the video editing I might even be able to put a you know box here and show you a bit of my timesheet with different colored boxes indicating what I was doing when but um, you know that depends on how well I'm doing at the video editing um, Another goal I set myself was to write 2,000 words every day, which I've managed. And there's also some other goals on that graph as well. Um, again, different coloured bars indicate words written on different projects. The green line on that graph, that is assuming, assuming there's a graph here, um, the green line is my average for the week so far. And the red lines are various goals, with the top two being optional goals. Um, I also set myself a challenge of walking a mile every day, which shouldn't be that much of a challenge. And yet again, I've, that's one I've managed. So I think as far as these targets go, I'm doing pretty well. Um, one of the other things I said I was going to do was to spend half an hour every day reading and a week has just about given me time to finish the first book I read this year. That's this one. It's called Without and is by Glenis Stott. Um, this is a really interesting book. I wasn't quite sure how it was going to play out when I started because it dis the blurb on the back describes a society. Imagine being given everything you need, but it's all second hand or even fifth hand. Imagine there being no money or credit cards, no shops or supermarkets, and no cars or trains. Imagine having your food delivered by horse and cart, along with a recipe card telling you what to feed your family. Imagine Agnes the Guardian watching your every move, and being able to take away everything you have if you put a foot wrong. Now that sounds like a pretty interesting setup, but it doesn't give you that much idea of what the story is going to be about. Although, of course, as soon as you've got, got to know the characters, you've got this little nagging in the back of your head, waiting to see what they're going to do wrong, how they're going to lose everything. Um, and this was actually quite an interesting book to read. The characters are very well written. Um, you know, they feel like real people. I have to wonder if they were based on real people, I don't know. Um, uh, later in the book it kind of feels a little episodic, uh, as if the, um, you know, they meet a new person or um, visit a new place and it looks like everything's going well and I find myself waiting for something to go wrong so that the next episode they'll have to move on and meet someone else. Um, that's not a bad thing, it's, um, I mean it does work, it's an interesting story and you do want to, these people to find somewhere they can actually stay um, by the end of the book. I, I'm, I'm not sure 
if I'm doing this right, because I'm I'm trying to say, you know, it's a good book with strong characters and an uh, interesting world. But I'm not sure how much I can say about the plot without giving spoilers, so um, I guess that's kind of a compromise. But I will strongly recommend the book. Um, one thing I did notice that I posted a photo of earlier is that one of the pages was folded at the bottom. Um, both corners were folded over. Um, obviously it's still a little creased. I've, I've flattened it out now. But when I got the book, both corners were folded over inside. It does seem to be something of a common thing with books printed by CreateSpace. That's obviously not a bad thing about the book. It's just... Um, I wonder how that you know, keeps happening. Um, but, yeah, I, w I will recommend that book. And I will give it two thumbs up. Um, I'm assuming that's out of two because I've only got two thumbs. Um, and I will say, um, if you like interesting, I'm not quite sure what to, what what genre to call this. It, it's set in the near future, but it isn't sci-fi or anything. It's, I, I suppose, post-apocalyptic in a way. Although that's not really the main thrust of it. Um, oh, I, I don't know. Um, I'm not that good at genres anyway. But anyway, um, what I was going to say is... Um, yeah, um, I've done my writing, timesheet, reading, walking... I did actually record a video when I was out, um, thinking I could do a little picture-in-picture -picture thing. I, I was actually going to um, hold my phone up like this and have a video appear in the corner of the screen. But the previous five times I've attempted to record this video, well, it just hasn't worked. It The video quality has been so bad and it's gone out of sync and end up chopping off the end of the video so I'm resorting to recording this on my phone thinking maybe I can edit it on my laptop later um, so yeah have a um, hopefully a video will appear here hello future me this is well past me I guess from your point of view although it looks like the present from it from here now this is me walking down the canal bank. I think I've got a pretty decent view here, at least as good as it can be when the sky's grey, the water's grey, and everything around me seems to be grey. But, you know, it's still winter. I'm walking some distance from home, and I'm getting my exercise. I'm getting to look at the canal and the ducks. So I think I'm doing as well as I can be. I've got an excuse to get out of the house, so yeah. Blimey, it, it does go on a bit, doesn't it? But anyway, yeah, that's what I've been up to this week. I've done just about all the things I said I was going to do. I've taken a couple of possibly interesting pictures um, and, well, hopefully when I get to edit this video it'll actually look good and I just hope that works well. Um, so until next week I'll see you around and I'll kind of try and keep up with all these goals.